a huge bulbous nose, and a shell of steel, plus plenty of electronics and cogwheels. These are the trademarks of our first curious logistics vehicle. What might this Colossus be good for? The vehicle is a special design. The price is correspondingly high. At around 1.2 million euros, this transporter is just as expensive as 15 ordinary trucks. A high price, especially because it's only used to transport one load, and usually no more than a few meters. It's a wind blade adapter for the rotor blades of wind turbines. These rotor blades are not only enormously heavy, weighing up to 15 tons, they are also extremely long. The longest ones measure 70 meters. The gigantic dimensions make this cargo a tricky passenger. There is hardly a curve that this delicate wing could negotiate without colliding with something. This 70-ton Colossus is steered by remote control. Placed on end up in the sky, tight curves or trees and houses are no longer an obstacle for the elongated rotor blade. Important, setting the spike upright shifts the weight to the front. A 28-ton plate made of solid steel moves when the spike is erected. This forms the counterweight to the heavy blade. To prevent the rotor blade from catching the wind during transport, the gear wheels turn the blade on its own axis out of the wind. This prevents the Colossus from tipping over. This giant can easily take on windmills. We present the bodybuilder among the heavy lifting champions. This arm alone can easily lift 20 tons. This vehicle, the van carrier, is a genuine giant. Its feet are as big as a human being. As if on spider legs, it balances its body at a lofty 15 meters. The driver, Jörg Wohlers, is in a sense the head of the giant. In a cabin 14 meters above the ground, he does the thinking for this colossus of steel. His stomping ground is the port of Hamburg. Huge ships, loaded with up to 14,000 containers, have to be unloaded within a very short time. It's a miracle that van carrier doesn't fall over, because on 15 meter long legs, they easily carry 90 tons of weight. A sharp bend could quickly cause them to stumble. To prevent this from happening, each vehicle has an autopilot on board. Even at full throttle, the giant does not travel faster than 25 kilometers per hour. But even this speed is enormous when you have to maneuver this steel giant through the rows of containers from a dizzying height with pinpoint accuracy. Only when the vehicle is exactly above a container does Jörg Wohlers lower the gripper arms. As soon as the bolts are locked, the 40-ton container is allowed to take the lift. The van carrier simply lifts the containers out of the rows like a matchbox. Jörg Wohlers controls every movement beneath his feet via a side mirror. He can stack and transport up to four containers. If he only has one container beneath him, it has to be lowered. Otherwise, the giant machine starts to sway. At the end of the ride, another short trip in the lift Mission accomplished. The heavy load lands gently at its destination. This little fellow is only 2 meters 50 tall, but strong as a bear. This electric cable drum transporter has its gripper's sights set on pipelines weighing several tons. These district heating pipes are waiting to be carried away. First, the driver guides the gripper arms to the core of the coil. Once they're stuck in position, the feat of strength begins for the cable drum transporter. Centimeter by centimeter, the industrious machine pulls up the eight-ton drum with its steel cables. No easy task. The strategy is the higher the upper gripper arm is set, 
the further the ropes pull the cable drum towards the transporter. Then the transporter brings the drum to the yard. There the district heating pipes wait for their next journey. Countless kilometers of them are laid underground every single day.